microbes play an immense role there in the soil system. Especially, they play a role in maintaining soil fertility and crop productivity. So, these are all the various kinds of roles that have been playing there in the soil system. I have listed a huge list that is up to 19 different roles that have been played by microbes there in the soil system that can able to increase the soil fertility. Fertility refers to capacity of the soil to feed the plant system and crop productivity. So here the first one is fixation of carbon by green algae and carbon and nitrogen by cyanobacteria. Green algae are always associated with carbon fixation alone. So they are all the first colonizer there in any kind of a soil system. Then comes the cyanobacteria which has the ability to fix both carbon and nitrogen. After availability of carbon and nitrogen in an ecosystem, it will start flourishing with the other groups of organisms such as the fungi, heterotrophic bacteria, lichens. Lichens is the one which is having an association of a cyanobacteria or green algae and fungi and mosses. These are all lead finally to the formation of a biological soil crust. The next one is the diazotrophs that is nitrogen fixing organism. There is various kind of bacteria that can able to fix nitrogen. If you closely look at some points I have highlighted in yellow color. The reason behind this thing is these points are going to be elaborated in the coming classes. So when they are asking this question as a 10 mark question, you can add the points that have been taught in the other classes also here. That is you can list the 19 points. After that a few points can be explained in detail. Those points are I have marked there in yellow color. And the next one is a phytohormone. As like our, we have a various kind of hormone system in our body, plants also require a lot of hormone. That includes the IAA, cytokinin, gibberellin. These are all the various hormone that are required for the plant activity. Then phosphorus and other mineral solubilization. Phosphorus is the one which is commonly present in the soil as a unavailable form that can be easily solubilized by various kind of heterotrophic organism mainly through the production of organic acids. Then mineralization of organic nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus. These are all the things which will take place mainly during the biogeochemical cycling of the nutrient. That is the one I have given there in the eighth point also. This biogeochemical cycling refers to how in the nature the nutrients are all cycled which includes how carbon cycle is operating, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle and sulfur cycle are all operating. And the next one refers to polysaccharide production and improvement in the soil aggregation. These images clearly explain the point of soil aggregation. So you can able to see the soil particles are aggregated there by the growth of fungi. So fungi hyphae is being formed which is aggregating the various kind of soil aggregates. So it can be referred as a macro aggregate, micro aggregate, sub micro aggregate. And the primary particles as I have already explained, silt, clay and sand are all aggregated together by microbial debris as well as the various kind of hyphae which produced by fungi, actinobacteria, they are all making the aggregation there. Again, this aggregation will be favored by production of some kind of a gummy substances there in the soil. Say for example, rhizobium produces a lot of polysaccharides and even the Mycorrhiza produces a specific kind of a polysaccharide called as a glomalin which improves the aggregation there in the soil system. So this is also again a image shows a electron microscopic image shows how an aggregation has been carried out there in the soil. The right hand side you can able to see a rhizobium colony grown in the plate which is so gummy in appearance. So this is a way in which they can able to create an aggregation there. The next one is organic matter degradation which includes the mineralization and immobilization. We are going to see in detail in the coming classes about the organic matter decomposition. It includes cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin. They are all how it's degraded. Biogeochemical cycling separately we are going to see. And the next one is the production of metal chelators that includes the sidrophore. Sidrophore are those that is involved in chelating the iron molecule and make it available for the plant system. The next one is production of certain plant growth modulating enzyme. This is ACC deaminase enzyme. This enzyme production increases the plant growth. Production of organic volatile compounds promoting plant growth. This includes ammonia production there in the soil system that can able to improve the plant growth. 
increase in root area that is effected through the mycorrhiza the root area formation that is increase are commonly mediated more by mycorrhiza this helps in the water uptake and resistant against the various kind of pathogens as well as the water stress hydrogen oxidizing bacteria they are also playing a major role there then biocontrol and antibiotics this we are going to see as a separate chapter there in the fourth or fifth unit i think then the other points includes the induced systemic resistance which is called as a isr so the details about these things are all we will see in the biocontrol and antibiotics on this top on that particular topic the potential to degrade certain pesticides and contaminants that is xenobiotic degradation will be very clearly explained in your other paper that is environmental microbiology proton extrusion enhancers and mineral uptake facilitators these are all certain groups of organism which can again able to improve the plant growth then production of vitamins as like human body requires a lot of vitamins the plants are also requiring a lot of vitamin for their growth so these vitamins are all produced by certain soil microorganisms and then the last point is enhanced stress resistance that is again salt drought metal xenobiotics these are all important that to the plant system with the help of microorganism that is if a microorganism is present there the plant can able to tolerate the drought condition one very clear example is when methylobacterium is play, sprayed there in the leaf surface it can able to protect the plant against the drought so this some details we will again see under the topic of plant growth promoting rhizobacteria so these are all the various kind of a role that is played by the microorganism in order to maintain the soil fertility and crop productivity you can list this role and you can explain a few there thank you